Hello ladies and gentlemen, so today we're going to play with the No Man's Sky save editor. One of the biggest grips in this game I have is storage, and these massive storage cubes right here, look how big this is, look at the size of me. Well, look at my inventory size, I got 48 slots here, later on I can have 48 slots in my uh, cargo, and then my technology has 14 slots in there. So, why does this little tiny container only contain five slots? five slots uh, and if you go up to it you can actually go ahead and put your sodium in there the cool thing is there is one positive side is that it does hold up to 1,000 items so you can see up to a thousand it moves to a new stack so it is cool it holds up to a thousand but honestly I think it should be a lot bigger and I'm gonna actually do that today I'm gonna actually change these to 48 slots I feel like that's fair now honestly I would recommend to the devs uh, to go ahead and uh, maybe make it so you can upgrade them over time so you start at you know your five slots then maybe you uh, increase them somehow over time hopefully not ba based on currency but something more fun and interesting like crafting so what you're gonna do is want to save your game so you'll go up here and save this game and we're gonna switch over to a desktop view of one of my monitors here we go and what you're gonna do first is you're gonna go to your hello your, your save folder before you even do the save editor I always I know it does a backup system for you but just do this yourself so type in percent app data percent in Explorer on Windows so any folder open it up and just type this at the very top percent app data percent and hit enter and you're gonna go to a folder all the way down here called hello games this is your master save these files don't exist for you this one does and then there's your steam information and then there's your save so each steam user has a different one I just sit out here on the back and what you can do is right click it and you can go to send to compress folder and just type in whatever name and there is your backup make sure of course in game you save just like we did then what you're gonna do is in the description we have the no man's sky save editor link directly to the page at the no man's sky's uh, mod website I don't know if it's on Nexus I have to double check but anyways if the link's not there it's not there uh, once you've downloaded you'll extract it you will need Java if you need help installing Java I'm not your guy um, honestly it's it's some sort of simple process you should already have it installed and um, well actually I guess you don't if you've never played Minecraft so honestly or something else that uses Java so that was probably a little ignorant but you can easily get Java uh, just get Java 8 and install it anyways what you're gonna do is you're gonna open the no man's sky save editor now you're gonna see a couple things that pop up I can't show you right away because it gets kind of hidden from my multiple monitors but the first thing you're gonna get is this choose your save path it automatically knows where your game is you don't have to worry or you can do the app data method again so I mean if I really want to do it manually I could do app data like this and hit open oh actually it didn't do that properly uh, it looks like it found it anyways from here oh actually no it didn't so look at that I screwed it up so we're gonna go open path there you go it seems to find it on its own um, you should be able to look up yourself but you might have to do it structure wise because every time you type in the app data it kind of opens this but anyways go ahead and open this file and you can see it should have an extended here. It shows your, basically it needs to be the No Man's Skies folder plus the ST. Now if you're using GOG and stuff like that, might be slightly different. I can't help you there, but it be, should be similar. This program probably smart enough to find it for you. Then you're gonna go to game slot and you're gonna select whatever slot you're using. It's pretty easy for me. I only have one single slot, so life is easy. You have a bat file in the background. Do not close it, just ignore it. It does some stuff in the background. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go to base is in storage and here is your storage now uh, right here zero is nothing you can ignore zero in fact I played around with it. I screwed around with it for fun just I was interested in it but just ignore it basically what you're gonna go is chest one to nine is the storage crates and so you can see storage one this is in here you could even edit this you can modify this you can do bad things I don't want that I'm not I'm not here to cheat in that way I'm only here to modify the storage size so what we're gonna do is change the storage size so if we go back in game this is the easiest thing you don't want to break your game but you also want to know if you're doing it right so if we count we go one two three four five six seven eight and it's one two three four five six never go past eight by six I uh, don't know what would happen don't feel like testing it right now but I can guarantee you program wise and somebody who has experience in this it probably will break uh, so we're gonna go change oh not change stack size uh, expand inventory and we're gonna do eight by six uh, 
Now, this is kind of unique and interesting. This is because uh, in No Man's Skies, you can have certain inventory slots not open, unlocked. They're kind of random. You find a ship where, you know, you might have some stuff kind of scattered around. And that's sort of how it works, right? Well, it's the same thing on here. So basically what you do is you expand each of the slots. And you can actually repair slots if you have a ship to repair. Once again, I'm not interested in that. I'm not here to cheat my entire game. I'm only here to expand the cargo space on the placeable base items i think they those would be decently balanced i i do think there should be more of a cost to it but i do think they should be able to get up to 48 slots each so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click you can actually write right click so right click and then right click again to enable it just makes it faster i don't know if there's a you know mass ref, uh, refill all stacks uh, recharge all technology expand all inventories expand all slots this might actually do every single thing possible uh, so I'm not interested in there. I'm going to do it manually just in case. I don't want to, you know, do something that I'll regret, right? Because, uh, you know, it might do my freighter, it might do my other inventories, it might do something else. I don't know. So I I'm just kind of a manual do it, you know, myself kind of person. In fact, I was going to edit the JSON file, but then I found out this was just easier. You know, I didn't realize I thought like I could use this to extract the JSON and edit myself, which I think you still can. But either way, then we're going to just hit save file and you should be set. So we're going to go back in game. Let me show you the game here. There you go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit escape and we're gonna reload. It will even say, I'm doing this at midnight, at 30, uh, it's 12.34 midnight right now. And literally here it is, 0034 and the date. So we're gonna load this up now. And uh, so it looks like uh, if this maybe this modifies the save date on the file or No Man's Skies itself just uses last modified date on the files. I don't know which one, but uh, either way, um, it just makes life easy because uh, it does this. And we just wait. You got to be a little patient, unfortunately. It kind of like seems to reload everything. And there we go. So we're going to go over to the container here and we're going to open it up. And there you go. So now you have 48 slots. You can count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And you can go ahead and fill this up with whatever you want. And you can see it using slots as never used before. And you're basically home free. You just put whatever you want in there. Your walker brains. Doesn't matter what you put in there. And I'll use them all up here. There you go. Just filling up every slot I got here and uh, you can click this button here this goes to your exosuit or I think you can do a, a oh no you can't do the other way I don't say okay no you have to do it manually it looks like but there you go so I wouldn't do it quite like this in my storage I'll have them a bit more organized of course but uh, there you go and now you have uh, the storage here uh, for multiplayer people opening it. Well, they can't open it, so you don't have to worry about it affecting their game or crashing it. But the method of how it's done, and it's through the JSON, aka it doesn't require actually modifying the game, only editing the save. I assume once they add storage support for multiplayer, I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to just do this fine. Um, and if they do add a better system to expand it and actually give proper slots, etc., and if I feel like it's fair, then I'll probably revert the changes and actually do it uh, the more legit way in game. But for now, I'm going to do this for my containers. I'll probably do it with all of them. And that way, you know what? It feels proper. I mean, this is a massive container. It should have all these slots, honestly. Um, but uh, like, again, I said, I would like to see more of a balance. Ways to earn the extra slots, you know, maybe in bulk. Like, you know, uh, maybe it starts with like, you know, eight at a time and you work at, you know, eight, 16, 32, whatever. Uh, eight each time. But uh, something that gets us those slots, right? Uh, or six. You could do six, 12, 24, 48. There you go. So something that kind of jumps up and you upgrade it maybe you use some precious resources versus just using credits uh, but anyways i hope that was a good lesson on how to use the no man's sky save editor it does much more than that but you can easily play with that on your own i think i gave you a good starter of how it works so you guys could probably figure out most things on your own once again i'm not going to use it for anything else i just personally think the cargo storage requires an upgrade and so that's what i did today thank you guys and girls so much for watching i hope you enjoy this please don't forget to subscribe comment like and we'll see wonderful people next time have a wonderful day goodbye